So now I'm going to open it up and we're going to see exactly all the accessories that come with this motherboard. Let's see, we got right off the bat, we've got our two way SLI connector. We've got our regular um, IDE cable. We've got our nice uh, IO shield with, the, of course, the comfy backing. That's what uh, Asus is known for, known for these days. We've got the three-way SLI connector. Nice and handy there. Very nice. We've got the SATA cable, red. This one has, we have one with uh, the 90 degree angle on it. We have another package of SATA cables, another one with a 90 degree angle on it. And of course our quick start guide, our manual. Let's see. In here we have, for some reason it's in here, we have the easy access clips for uh, hooking up your uh, motherboard, your cases, power, reset, all that nice stuff. This is the easy. We have our ASUS with uh, our case badge right there. We have the, the driver's CD, of course. You should uh, go to the ASUS website and download the latest drivers. So the manual. The manual just seems to go over, tells you how to apply stuff, how to install memory. What else they have here? There's some, just some specs in the case itself. What shows you what's the input output. I'll go over that in more detail. I'll show you the actual motherboard itself. Uh, it shows you how to just configure BIOS. A whole bunch of stuff in here. A whole bunch. Alright, now for good stuff. Let's open it up. Cardboard. And the most important thing, the ASUS P6T motherboard. Of course, this motherboard comes with a nice static resistance pack packaging. We're gonna open it up. Let's get this bad boy out. Alright, so there we go. Here is the motherboard layout. As you can see here, you have your LGA1366 CPU supporting the new Core i7s. Um, I'm pretty sure this supports the new 930s, but uh, if not, you might want to download the latest BIOS update and I'm sure it'll be supported. We have up at the top here, triple channel. Um, I believe it supports, supports at the 1600. Anything above that is uh, supported by overclocking. Uh, let's see, down here, let's go in the middle, we have PCI Express uh, 16 slot. Another PCI Express 13, 16. We have our PCI Express 1 right there. Uh, we have a regular PCI slot, another PCI Express, more than likely 8, and we have another just regular PCI. We have our most obsolete floppy drive, we have our USB headers all along the side here, we have at the top are six SATA cable spots and our IDE. We have two more SATA right here. We have, of course, our North Bridge and our South Bridge chipset, nicely heat synced. Um, as we move farther down here, you can see it takes um, an eight pin uh, power. And let's flip it over here. Let's see what we have here. We have our PS2 keyboard and mouse right here. Our USB 2.0 ports. Our um, optical audio. Our, uh, I believe this is also audio. Uh, we have our eSATA, our Firewire. Two more PCI Express. Sorry, sorry, two more USB. We have our Ethernet, two more USB, 
and our what it says in the packaging eight channel audio um, that's pretty much it well let me just go over one more thing here before I forget it has the nice easy right here power on reset buttons that's pretty pretty uh, cool um, down here at the bottom it has the, the case uh, case attachments and of course it came with that nice easy let's see I don't have it on there right now but the nice easy uh, connector um, other than that that's pretty much it um, so this is the P60 motherboard for more information make sure to go to our website techunfolding.com